Hi all and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today I'm going to talk about Wi-Fi. Uh, a lot of iPads, iPhones, we need Wi-Fi connection when we are at home, at work, wherever we are. We need Wi-Fi connection to use our apps, go on Instagram, whatever social media you like or just browse uh, the internet or whatever. So I'm gonna talk about how to troubleshoot and try to regain your connection on your device. So uh, here we go. First, I'm at the home, I go to settings. And uh, if your Wi-Fi is not working, the first thing I would recommend you to do is to try and switch the Wi-Fi on and off. So we have the Wi-Fi over here. At the top, we have the Wi-Fi switch button. Press that one, it is now off. Wait for five seconds and turn it on again. And as you can see, my Wi-Fi is now connected again and it seems to be working. So that was the first and easy one to do. Uh, next step is to try if this is not working. I would recommend you to go to uh, the airplane mode. I have it over here. And if I press that switch button at the Airplane mode, if I'm able to do that, here we go. Again, wait for five or 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And turn that one off again. And then again, my Wi-Fi will connect. If uh, this is still not working, uh, we have seen uh, issues with the uh, Bluetooth being on at the same time as the Wi-Fi. This should be working, but sometimes it actually helps to uh, disable your Bluetooth. So if I go down here to my Bluetooth, you can see it is on and I can switch that one off and uh, then go back to your Wi-Fi settings. Again, do a on off on your Wi-Fi and see if it is should be working. These are the simple steps you can try to do uh, first and see if that is a possibility to do something about your problems. But another thing that uh, most people do not know about is that you can try and go into your location service. Uh, and if I'm able to find mine, I'm just gonna find it right here under privacy. You have the location service and in your location service at the bottom, you have the system services go in here and in here you have a Wi-Fi networking. This is normally on, as you can see, it is on mine here. So you can switch that off. And uh, I have actually seen that this could uh, help uh, solve uh, network issues. So when you have switched, that one off, go back to a Wi-Fi connection, turn that one off and on again and see if your network issues have been solved. So another thing you can do if your Wi-Fi is a bit unstable is you can actually try and for forget your network. So when you are in your Wi-Fi settings, you have this uh, blue eye over here, if you press that one, you get into your settings for your Wi-Fi. And at the top, you have a forget this network. Press that one, you get a pop-up. You can either cancel or forget. You press the forget button. And now you are not connected to your normal Wi-Fi. Once again, press your Wi-Fi name, put in your password and say connect. And this will connect you to the Wi-Fi again. And this can also, a lot of times, uh, solve the issue. If you go into your network settings again, for your network, you can also go down here. And under configure DNS, sometimes the DNS can be an issue. You can see I use my local uh, DNS on my router. You can go down to manual and you can see you can add a new DNS and uh, 
Google have a very good uh, DNS server you can use, and that one is called 8.8.8.8. So it's very easy to, uh, to remember. Press save. And as you can see, my configuration DNS has switched to manual instead of automatic. And uh, I can remove my own local one and press save. Now my router is uh, not used as the DNS server anymore. Now I'm using the Google one. Go back here, switch the Wi-Fi on and off and on. And then you can check if you are having a decent connection again on your router. This is some of the issue uh, solving possibilities you can do. You can also have a look at your router. I have an old one of mine here. And uh, sometimes the router get a bit messy, get uh, somehow in a uh, messed mode. And uh, sometimes it helps to power off your router. I have one here, as you can see. I have my power cable in th that one. Just take the power cable out, wait for 30 seconds, put it back in again. Now your router will power on again. Wait for 30 seconds to a minute to let the router reboot and get on again. Go into your network settings, see if your Wi-Fi connection has changed status. If not, do one of the tricks again. Turn this off and on again. And a lot of times this solves the issue with not having able to connect to the internet. So these are some of the steps you can try and uh, troubleshoot your own network with. Sometimes it's a bit uh, big mess, uh, but a lot of time these steps actually help you to resolve your network issues. So I hope I uh, can help some of you guys out there with your issues. Uh, stay tuned for more videos.